Wolfpack 325 with a 13 foot garage, 11,760 pounds here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this is a, what I classify as a working man's toy hauler. It's for the guy who maybe still punches a clock nine to five, wants to go out and have a good time, can't go broke doing it, but wants something nice to show for his efforts. And this thing certainly has some good looking eye appeal. And that's one of the things I want to hit on is the fact that not every one of these we have is going to look just like this one and be equipped exactly like this one. This is pretty typical of how we'll stock our stuff, but not guaranteed. Uh, for instance, you know, so if you're seeing uh, this video, may not, it may be different from the one I have in stock. For instance, we have this beautiful gel coat skin put on this, and it emerges, I mean, flawlessly into that, uh, that uh, uh, milk white nose cap that we have there. But this is an upgrade. Normally you have aluminum siding on this, but man, when you, when you see one of these, the fiberglass, there's just no comparison. There's just none. Plus, it's going to tow smoother for less wind resistance and easy to clean. Um, the uh, We like to generator prep these. And uh, the biggest reason we do that is not necessarily for adding a generator, but the generator prep and the fueling station are kind of merged into one option. And uh, it gives you, you know, double the benefit there. Because um, as long as they're running fuel lines, I figure why not just go ahead and finish the job. Um, we have a, a black tank flush system on these. Uh, the Man, I love the look of this. That skin, that shine on that. It, they, they, they hit the nail on the head with the color package on this. Um, the, uh, sorry, I got sidetracked there. I saw something shiny. Um, the uh, slide-out sidewalls have this little cottage cheesy uh, sort of skin to them. That's a seal-gripping slide wall. It makes sure that those seals stay pulled as tight as they possibly can be. Um, that makes sure that you have a good seal because I don't know if you noticed, but it's kind of rainy right now It's kind of cruddy and uh, to anything you can do to help keep that rain out the better if you keep that seal pulled all the way uh, In or out you're fine. By the way, it's not raining enough that there's water going in the unit because I have a tailgate now and don't have a heart attack um, Fueling station 30 gallon fuel cell on that even little detail stuff like uh, on, Back here you actually have a little sewer tank caddy or pardon me sewer hose caddy I always say that sewer hose caddy built right in uh, down here the the tube where you can keep your sewer hose So you don't have to worry about where do I store that thing? You know uh, the patio party deck is an upgrade. We like to put on here. There are also um, Leaves that fold out to enclose the backside. I just simply left this open for a quick setup and demonstration um the uh, even the entry doors are gel coated high gloss and whatnot now this floor plan is really cool in the fact that it actually has two power awnings because we have that middle slide out they went ahead and broke the awning give you two individual awning sections the end result is you actually have more square foot of patio awning space uh, by doing this now this right here is an outside tv center um, you can uh, float a, a tv from the living room to the bedroom to the garage to outside you can actually move one tv with that little quick release bracket um, TVs are not always going to be included with a wolf pack. Double check our options list. Um, the ramp door in the down position has a 3,000 pound rating. In the up position like this, it is rated for 1,500. Uh, so that's enough for four people, um, generally speaking, uh, with, with uh, only a few exceptions, to come out here on a picnic table, have a good time, and kind of just be removed from it. Now, what we've done is we've taken a generic toy hauler and we've converted it into a, a sport utility crossover. What I mean by that is, yeah, you can still throw a bike or ATV. This has a true 13-foot garage, 13 foot to that front wall to back here. Um, so your biggest side-by-sides that I know of out there will fit in this easily. Uh, the uh, Not to mention you could throw you know quads, dirt bikes, golf carts. Uh, you know, you could use this for uh, crafts or anything like that. This could be a man cave. You could do anything you want with it. And that's why I call it a sport utility crossover. Now, we've, we've enhanced that a little further by adding the power bed and sofa lift down here. By the way, you can leave the sofa up against the ceiling while dropping just uh, the uh, the sofas. I think I said the sofa. Okay. You can leave the bed against the ceiling while dropping only the sofas. I don't know what I said, but that's what I meant to say. Um, so these can roll over into beds. So you can use them like double stacked bunks. You can use it like an extended second living room. You can uh, roll down the screen wall we've added to this to make a three seasons room out of it. It does anything you want. And it is dovetailed for easy loading. And there are like 12 or 13 D-rings on the floor of this that are screwed right through the floor decking and they're recessed so they're easy to drive over. You don't get that lumpy feeling and they're, especially when you're walking on it, you don't have any issues. Your window shades here, you want to black out the sun because you're sleeping and this is an extra bunkhouse. Or if you got your toys back here, you can totally blot that out. This is a bath and a half model, which is awesome for folks using this 
again, for entertainment purposes or for, like, uh, guest room purposes, because now we don't have to disturb one another to get to the bathroom. Um, the uh, elliptical table you see right here is a sealed edge top. There's no seams. This is a, a pressed membrane. It means the water can't get in there and cause swelling and sponging. And it's on an elliptical base, so you can fold it down and use it like a coffee table. You can take it outside. You can leave it in here. You can put it between these sofas like a dining table. You can do anything you want with it. Um, you know, short of try to use it like a pogo stick, but that wouldn't make sense anyway. So up here is where we have our garage entertainment center. You see that little white sticker It says TV backer, so you can throw a television up here. All of your switches are backlit, by the way, so you can see them at night so that you know where you're going. Full vapor wall here, which is what you call an enclosure of a, uh, a garage area in a toy hauler because that, that keeps the fumes and the air exchange from, um, you know, like when you load, sometimes there, you might have a little exhaust. You're not going to worry about that exhaust getting up into your living room and, uh, you know, smoking it up in here. There are a lot of these cool glow, uh, blue glowing LED lights in here. And again, they're not just for show. They, I mean, they look cool. Don't get me wrong. But they're the perfect nightlight. Again, if we have people sleeping with us or, or they need to make a quick trip to the refrigerator, if you're like me and you like to do that in the middle of the night, uh, which is probably why I need to lose some weight again. But uh, they're, they're an ideal nightlight. Now, um, along with, let me kick on some lights here and watch this. Pow! All LED lights, double banked for some very good luminosity in here. But we have a wraparound loft bunk. It actually wraps all the way around. It starts there, goes behind the entertainment center, and curls up over here on the kitchen. The safety net is there just for obvious purposes to keep someone from having the idea of crawling off the end of it at night. Now, little detail stuff. When you're shopping, guys, I want you to look up here. You see how where there's no mattress, this is still carpeted? That's not common in the world of toy haulers. Typically, in the world of toy haulers, if there's not a mattress on that upper loft bunk, you're going to look at raw exposed wood. And it's just another thing. It's it's not a big deal. It's all that little stuff, though, that says they meant to do this. None of this was an accident. They didn't cut a corner because you weren't looking there. I bet a lot of people who have shot for toy haulers have never, never looked up there. I bet they go, oh, it's a loft. Okay, look up there. You're buying the whole thing. Look at it, you know. Great pantry in this kitchen space. We'll come to the kitchen in a minute, but where I'm positioned right now, it's it's very convenient to see this this big pantry. It's like just a real door. You know, your entertainment center has tons of big storage in it. You throw your TV here in the uh, in front of this uh, false stone here. Um, it's all set up for satellite and extra entertainment options. This is uh, your DVD player for your TV. It's also your stereo for inside and outside. And just like that little tabletop uh, we looked at outside. Every countertop you see in this is a sealed membrane so that water can't get in there and cause sponging. Um, we have uh, outfitted this with a real wood tabletop, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but when you start, you know, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with the press board uh, guts and Formica countertops found on a lot of this stuff in the RV industry. There's really nothing wrong with it. It is heavy, however, and it can be kind of cumbersome to use. By using real wood here, they've actually increased the strength and decreased the weight of this. It's it's a it's a double win here. My camera's a little foggy because of the weather, and I am sorry about that. Uh, extra tall slide out. The slides on this are I don't know seven six ish tall. They're plenty tall to put some really really big windows in here. And your windows have these cool plantation blinds. You know what I like about these? You can clean them. You can actually clean these things. A pleated shades, metal mini blinds, they're really tough to clean. These are much easier to work with. And I don't know if you noticed, but we put these big mega drawers in here so you can get to every ounce of that dinette bench storage if you need to. It, that way, if you know, you don't need to disassemble the whole dinette to get to it. And you'll notice those are found on both sides of the coach. Um, they have uh, 5 8 ton groove plywood flooring in this. So, again, from the ground up, it is built to be... Uh, affordable but reliable this thing has to perform it can't just be um, you know a dollar less it still has to stay in your driveway and stay out of mine and these have done a good job for us um, this is a this is basically the toy hauler version of a Cherokee fifth wheel and the last two years they have gotten super serious and tight on their quality control down there and I've become a real big fan they just they don't come back they don't haunt you they don't cause you, the buyer, problems. Oh, I just noticed something here. Not only do we have a power outlet, we have countertop space on both sides of the oven. This is an oven that's good for left or right-handed people. What I mean by that is, 
like, I've, I'm right-handed, but my left hand is free. So if I'm stirring stuff, my inclination with that hand is to move over this way and set down a spoon. So you have appliance space and you have workspace on both sides. That, that is, that's sharp. Killer storage in this, this peninsula right here. This is pure storage. And I'm a little close, so it's kind of difficult to get a camera in here properly. But when you see it in person, it really lines up well. By going to a sealed countertop, they could go to an undermounted sink. That's a nice thing. And they use the same material on the sink cover they use on the rest of the countertop. So you can literally use that like real countertop space. It's not the flimsy white sink cover, which is better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. I'll take that every day of the week. And if, you know, husband gets out of line, ladies, hold on to that with two hands. Raise it up. Lower it quickly on your husband's head. And when he wakes up, advise him how he needs to listen better. <laughs> Uh, over here, this little outlet, I looked at that and said, oh, that's my phone charger right there. That's where my phone charging station's going. Um, moving upstairs, you know, three steps, not two. So it is easy come, easy go. Bathroom has dual entry doors. You can get to it from the bedroom or the hallway. So once again, if we have folks over, we're not going to disturb one another. Um, LED lights even here in the bathroom and whatnot. And tons of floor space. Uh, you can get dressed in this toilet. You know, one of the reasons you have a big bathroom in here, I should have mentioned this in the garage, this is a true wide body, 102 wide body coach. A nice side effect of that though, is that you get a bigger bedroom and a bigger bathroom. People think about 102 wide body for loading in the garage, but they forget that your bedroom and your bathroom are often afterthoughts in the RV business and, and world of design. So to have that extra space in here, even if it's a byproduct, is welcome. And even the bigger fantastic fans up there give you better airflow and you notice how they slot these doors the doors are a little shorter than the ceiling heat rises it forms a thermal blanket on the roof of your camper and over time that blanket grows bigger and bigger and bigger well this fan sucks it out and keeps it smaller and smaller and smaller so that you're not cooking at night and you can actually stand up in the shower too which is a nice thing big sink you can actually get your hands in the sink and that's one of the member or things of this being a member of the Cherokee family like the big medicine cabinets those are some of their common characteristics and even here where you're splashing water still sealed edge counters moving up to the bedroom remember it is wide body we have not only walk around bed but a really easy walk around bed you do not have to do the sideways travel trailer shuffle to get in here you can just walk there's room to just walk in here I need to get new shoes those are looking terrible um Bigger closets on both sides of the bed as well. With storage below, cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed. 50 amp service so we can add a second air conditioner here in the bedroom if you want to turn it into a human ice box. And you have TV wall backer here as well. So once again, you can have four entertainment zones in this coach to use or not use as you see fit. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping, everybody.